Hey everybody, Ann here, just sitting out in front of the rocket stove, having my coffee. I got some stuff in the dehydrator, so hopefully it will finish today because I've got so much more to do. So, uh, well, I want to show you some clips from last night. I got my beautiful fire going in the rocket stove, and I have put together the pot of beans. I think I may have too many beans in there. Now, this may look gross to you, but it's not going to be. Yeah, you saw those puffball mushrooms. Uh, I chopped up the last of my uh, tomatoes and see that right there? That's a Caesar mushroom. And I have a couple green peppers in there. I got a jalapeno pepper in there. I got some garlic and some onions. So yeah, definitely Papa's not going to be able to um, eat this. Uh, I've got... Uh, at least one, maybe two of those indigo milkies in here. They're going to be hard to see because they kind of lose their blue color after a minute. Uh, puffball. There is some cumin. There's a couple of my cayenne peppers from last year. Sorry, I'm not holding this very well. And uh, I chopped those up and put them in there. Put some onions in there. Definitely Papa can't have this. But, oh, my mouth is watering right now. Yeah, I chopped up the last of my tomatoes, and I put a can of tomato sauce in there, too. I may have to add some more fluid, just depending. These beans have been soaking all day, so I can't wait. Now, these, it may seem like those puffball mushrooms are too big, but they aren't, because they'll kind of, they'll shrink down a little bit. Oh, there's a indigo mushroom. Right on. Okay. I didn't put green beans in. I think I'm going to save the green beans for tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow on my birthday, make a nice meal with the green beans. So, this is going to take a couple hours to cook, probably, but that's okay. I got plenty, plenty of wood. I got to tell you, there is nothing better than sitting out in front of this rocket stove. Got a nice pot of beans on, watching my chickens. It's not ungodly hot. It's, it's starting to cool down. Yeah, this is going to be a good night. Okay, it's dark outside. We're going to see if we can film me. I've got some lights on me, but it is after 8 p.m. All the chickens are up in their little coops, and Mama, I got to tell you, she's a piece of work. She likes to get in this one spot that the three littlest chickens used to like to get in, and so, I mean, it's havoc, but they figure it out. Anyhow, yeah, this is still roaring fire, and if my beans are still cooking, I'm probably going to be out here another hour. Um, before it's done because I didn't soak them overnight. I just soaked them for, I don't know, about six or eight hours. But it's smelling so delicious, you guys. Mm, the beans are just about soft enough, so I know this is hard to see. It is like 9.30 or so. <laughs> 9.45. I don't care. It's lovely sitting out here. So, I'm just going to let some of this extra fluid cook off and then I'm going to plate it up. Oh, I've been taking little tastes of it, you guys, and it is absolutely delicious. There it is, you guys. It's all done. It's got mushroom. It's got beans. It doesn't have any meat. I didn't need any meat in it. There's plenty of protein in these beans. Oh, I'm just going to get a, a bite of a whole bunch of stuff all at once. Mm-hmm. Oh, I did have to add one thing. I can't find any Lee and Perrin's like that steak sauce, but I did find this Worcestershire sauce, and it kind of has the same flavor. It's just thinner. So I uh, put a little bit of that in it, and that, that did the trick. Mm. I'm going to way too much, but I'm going to let it cool down completely, and then maybe put it in a jar or something and uh, put it inside the ice chest so I can have some leftovers tomorrow. Oh, so good. And yep, this morning I got the rocket stove fired up again. It's just about ready because I'm going to reheat those beans and crack some eggs over the top of it. Eggs are in and it's done. It may not look good, but it is going to be. I'm going to have one of the eggs and I'm going to scoop out the two others and not have any of the, you know, mushrooms or 
garlic or onions on it and give them to Papa. That was an amazing breakfast and Papa loved his and the chickens, well, they're gonna get some too. I went and put a couple scoops of brown rice in there and I'm gonna let it cook up. And once it's all done, I'm gonna let it cool off and feed it to the chickens. Beans are very good for chickens and they can eat mushrooms uh, uh, just so long as they're cooked. Um, and everything else in there is fine for chickens. So, but today I got to do something inside the van coop. Yep, I, I have to move some stuff around and make some other things for these other two smaller coops. It's going to be a lot of work, but I need to get at least a little bit of it done. Okay, first thing I got to do is dismantle this whole little area back here because I'm going to put it somewhere else. That's all been taken out. I need to get some more bedding in here. And I need to do something with this back part. I want to repurpose this board for something else. I think I might be able to make a perch out of it. I had to remove like a billion nails <laughs> right down there. They, some of them are kind of bent up, but most of them are pretty straight. So I'm not going to throw them out. I'm going to reuse them for something else. Well, I put a perch up, but the problem I'm having is... This, for it to fit the way that I want it to, in between two window wells, um, I would have to cut it. It is the perfect size to fit in between, but there's curves and bumps and weird ridges in this van. So I can't get it up to there. Um, and if I cut it too small, then it's just going to fall through to the lower ridge. So, I mean, right now I've just got it bungeed up there. Um, I'm going to have to do something else. But uh, I am sweating. <laughs> so this is going to have to do for now. And I put this little hutch out here. This is going to be a grow out pen. In uh, about another week, I'll let them start taking day trips out here. And I'm going to get rid of that planter. Yep, I'm just going to do away with it. So uh, once they grow out of this little area, I'll make a bigger yard around it so they can have more room. The reason why I want to do this is because it's close to the tiny house. I can get an extension cord, put the heat mat out there, and keep them warm during the night. But this is going to be a while. It's going to be, well, one more week until I let them take day trips. And then probably three or four weeks, depending on how fast their feathers come in. Um, I'll let them stay out here overnight, just depending on the temperature. So yeah, awesome. I've got a lot of use out of this here little hutch. I've been working out in the heat all day. I didn't think it was going to get this warm. And maybe it's just because where I'm working is actually in the sun. And it's just, whew. So I'm uh, rehydrating. And it stays pretty gosh darn cool in this uh, tiny house. So long as it cools down overnight. Anyhow. Um, I've been fussing with that stupid perch in the back. Um, I've made a temporary solution. And another little one. I'll show you it tomorrow. I'm just too tired. I'm done. Uh, I have an idea of how to suspend that one roost, um, but I don't know if it's going to work uh, because, well, I, I just don't know. I'm just going to have to experiment. I have a couple boards that size, so if I need to cut one and then I make a mistake, I've got another one that I can use. So, um, But they like to be kind of higher up. You know what I mean? So I'm going to have to figure it out because the shape of that van and it's just part of the part of the frame. It juts out further than where, you know, I need it to, to rest. You know what I mean? It's hard to explain, but I'll figure it out. Anyhow, um, the day that you're watching this is my birthday. And thank you, Miss Donna, for the lovely birthday donation. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. And, uh, oh my God, I'm just so tired. I can't think. I don't know what I'm going to be actually doing on this day. Probably just relaxing. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.